So I already have foundation on, concealer, powder, and brows on. So we're going to go ahead and move on to other face products. I'll link what I used down below. So the first thing we're going to be going into is the Laura Geller Beach Matte Baked Hydrating Bronzer in Siesta Medium right here. I love this so, so much. This is such a beautiful bronzer. I have a little Taco Bell scrunchie on and a wig on today. I really like this wig. I think it looks super pretty. Um, I'm really bad at cutting the hairline, but whatever. So going into this, and I'm going to be using the Morphe M527 brush, and we're going to start bronzing up the face. Alright, so currently this is my favorite blush at the moment. This is the Essence Satin Touch blush right here, and this is in the color Satin Coral. It's so beautiful, love it. And this is my favorite blush brush, which is the e.l.f. 103 brush here it is and I'm just gonna go into that and of course we're gonna be putting this on the cheeks and it's so hard to do your makeup when you have a wig on like I don't know how people do it all right so now I'm gonna be taking this Luxie 250 large eye blending brush right here but I'm gonna be using it for highlighter and I've been loving this highlighter so much this is the elf it's like elf plus glow highlighter um, in the color moonlight so here it is on the outside and then you open it up it's actually like a very kind of like a creamy highlighter um, so I'm sure you can just tap it but I'm gonna use a brush and we're just gonna put this pretty much all over the face I kind of just tap it into the skin it's super bold but super beautiful and I'm pretty sure unless it's like lotion or something on my hands I don't know it's the brush no, I think it's this product. I think it has like a good kind of smell to it. All right, so now I'm gonna be taking the Laura Geller Sparkle. Oh no, it's called Spackle Mist Prime Set and Refresh right here and spray my face. All right, so this is the Glam Light Paint Palette. Um, it's got 18 colors in it and this is the packaging it came in which I thought was really nice for just a palette. I'm um, pretty sure it's like $40 or something but I'll put it down below on the screen. Um, but I'm going to be honest, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, at first, I was like, oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. But then I saw someone use it, and I was like, oh, no, it's literally a paint palette. Um, but it's not. It's an eyeshadow palette. I just got really excited because I've been looking for paint palettes. Um, if you guys know of any, please drop it down below. Um, but I just want to show you guys the packaging it came in because here it is. Super cool. And then, of course, it, I don't know if I can show this, but, like, it opens up. And then... Here you guys go. It's kind of hard to like show it on camera, but it comes with a brush. And here is the brush right here. I haven't even pulled it out. Don't know if I'm going to use it today, but it seems like a very nice brush. All right, so here it is. Here is the palette. So it has this really nice plastic cover on it. And then you open it up, and here is the palette. It looks so, so stunning. It's so cool. I think it is pretty big, um, which is nice that you can fold this behind it. But it's literally like a legit paint palette. Here you guys go. Like, look at this. This is so cool to me. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but I kind of really want to use this color right here, which looks so beautiful. But yeah, I really, I don't know. So I'm going to go into this brush right here. This is the Sigma Large Shader E60 brush. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into the color Coral, which is right here. And we're gonna pick this up. So, so far it looks super bright neon. It is pretty powdery, but that's okay, not mad at it. And we're gonna start putting this into the crease and building it up. So right now this is what I'm doing, just building it up. So far this is building up really nicely. It actually looks so dang good. So I'm just kind of rounding it out right there. Super powdery, I mean, can you guys see that? Like over on the color, there's so much powder on it, but you know, that's okay. A lot of palettes um, who have good pigmentation are powdery, I've noticed. All right, not gonna lie, I think this is the most powdery palette I have literally ever used. Um, <laughs> there is so much powder on that, and I've barely tapped into it. So, I mean, this is literally the most powdery, powdery palette.
Alright, so now I'm going to go into this brush right here. This is the Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush. And we're going to go into this orange right here because this orange is looking very intriguing. Might go into the yellow as well if we have color. Um, this one's powdery, but not as powdery. But if we have space, we'll go into the yellow because I did raise this pink corally color pretty high up. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of making like a sunset effect and just going in and blending it at the top and rounding out. Maybe not too much because I kind of want to get into that yellow, but just building it up. Alright, now I'm going to go back into that first brush and first color. This one's way more powdery and we're going to build it up some more into the crease. All right, so I'm gonna go into this brush right here. Um, this is the Vintage Cosmetics Step One for the Money Brush, and now we're gonna go into. The, <laughs> actually, these are funny. These all like don't have cool names. They just have like what they are, which is cool. Um, this is the color yellow, and it's yellow. So we're gonna go into that, and we're gonna pick that up and go very high up, kind of give a fade. I did go up too high with the orange and pink color, but we're gonna go up very high. And yes, that yellow is looking really, really good. Probably the best yellow I've seen in a good while. That's looking really good. I mean, this is looking like a straight up sunset. It's looking so pretty. That yellow is phenomenal. I'm getting it really close to the brow bone area just so it peeks through because it looks so pretty. I'm gonna take the yellow and kind of get it more in the inner corner area. Don't know how that's gonna look, but I just kind of want it to peek through in the inner corner. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go into this again and we're gonna take the yellow and just place it on the lid because I'm loving how this is giving me like pure sunset vibes. And I really wanted to use a shimmer, but I'm really loving this sunset vibe to it right now. I'm going to take that brush we were using with the orange and I'm going to go back into that coral color and I'm going to take it and start to fade it on the outer part right here. Just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit on the outer part to blend that yellow in. Okay, so I'm taking this blending brush right here. This is the Morphe R37 brush going into that yellow and I'm going to be taking it to just make sure this area is nice and rounded out right here. Not too much, but just so it's perfectly blended right here. All right, so going back into that coral color, placing this under the eyes. Going into that yellow in the same brush and just blending it together. All right, so this is the Crown C513 pencil brush. And I'm gonna go into this color right here. This is the color white, but it's very shimmery. It looks beautiful. We're gonna pop it into the inner corner with that yellow, which actually looks pretty cool. Mixed with that yellow, it gives like a yellow glow. That's pretty cool. So popping that there. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this Candace Cosmetics Glitter Eyeliner. This is in the color Sahara, which is a gold glitter liner. I haven't used this yet, but I did swatch it. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to very closely, now I'm going to be very closely taking this and haven't used it before, lining my brow bone area very thin. Glitter so far looks really, really good. Probably like one of the best glitter liners I've used before. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a second coat because I went on really thin. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and use this as well and draw some wings on my eyes. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking this Kylie lip liner, Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the color Leo. Um, this is pretty old, but this is like the color I have, so... Um, I don't know if there's a twist up, do you sharpen this? I don't know, but I am going to be lining my lips.
Alright, so I'm going to be going in with the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Liquid Lipstick. It doesn't have a name on it, but um, I will find it out and link it down below. This right here, and it's a very dark color. So I'm going to be putting this on my lips. I'm going to be honest, I almost forgot <laughs> mascara, but I remembered now. I'm actually going to go over it because I'm not really liking how it looks, and it's like not even it's kind of stressing me out i don't do well with dark colors so i'm going to be going into this morphe liquid lipstick in dainty right here and we're going to be putting it on top all right so now for my top and bottom lashes i'm going to go in with the milk makeup kush mascara All right, so that is everything for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like it. I am really liking this wig. I'm trying to get better at wearing wigs so they look more real. Um, obviously, this one probably doesn't, but I like the color of it, and I really like this makeup. This eyeshadow palette is actually pretty bomb. I loved it. Everything blended out really nice. That wine coral shade was a little bit too powdery for me. It did give me some fallout, but it wasn't that bad, and it looks so beautiful. I was actually mentally thinking of a different look, but I really love the sunset vibe. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.